Good evening, everybody. I'm going to do for you right now was a quick review on Time Slip Creations 1 to 4, 4105 scale Battlestar Valkyrie. This is the same scale as Mobius's Galactica. And first off, the box it came in. You see here, good sturdy box and um, a great packing. Like, simply because comparatively, you see here. Oops, decals, that's what you get in the box. Oops, I've actually taken the main fuselage out of, out of its bag. But for the size of the model, uh, Time Slip has done a really good job at making sure it doesn't show up damaged. Like, I've taken half the packing peanuts out, and there's no way this thing is going to get damaged. But uh, I'm going to hit pause, I'm going to lay the parts out, and I'm going to show you what you get. Okay. So first thing you see is the uh, painting guide. This is the back side of the instruction sheet. Shows you the Valkyrie herself. One of my favorite ships from the, from the show. You only see it a couple of times, but I don't know, something something about, you know, I didn't care for the Pegasus. It just looked kind of you know, blobby. Kind of looked like uh, they took the Galactica and made a caricature of it. But. I like the I like the Valkyrie, very sleek looking, very advanced looking. And the back side of that is the instruction sheet. There's only six steps, and then the general layout of the parts uh, of the ship itself. So, yeah, not a lot to the engine. It should be pretty straightforward to build. Now the parts themselves. Let me move the camera up a little bit. You got the, uh, the head, the body, the flight pods, the engines. You got a couple of extra engines. I'm, I'm guessing if somebody wants to make well, the uh, more con there's a conjectural design when the ship first came out, nobody really knew what the back side of it looked like. So they thought it had six engines. Later on, it was discovered it only had four. So if you somebody wants to do a variant of it with six engines, here's the uh, the block that the engines sit on. So it probably wouldn't be too difficult just to cut apart the um, cut a couple of notches in the bottom here and glue on an extra set of engines. Um, next next uh, little clip, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit on the part on the uh, main fuselage parts so to give you an idea of the actual scale of this. Before I do that, just want to show you the decal sheet. Now, because it's such a small ship, you don't need much in the way of decals. These are just the flight pod and the um, and the names, the run the runway and the Valkyrie names. Uh, I can't zoom in on them; it's too small. But uh, for what for what you need, these are really nice. I really like; they're really sharp. The printing on them, I'm really happy with these. But just give me a second. I'm just going to lay these out and with a scale reference as well. So just give me a second. And here you go. It's a little uh, machinist five inch ruler and the parts pretty much all laid out straight there. Like I said, the Valkyrie, she's not a big ship. I think in the, in the series they, they um, refer to her more as a, um, what's it called? Uh, I guess you could call it a stealth operations platform because they're launching a stealth star with it. But to give you an idea of the size of it, this here is Galacticus flight pod. So it's a it's not a big ship. Now I say that, but I'm gonna try and zoom in. The the uh, quality of this thing is incredible. You can see now with the um, especially with the use of computers to make to make masters. I'm hoping not too much detail is lost in the zooming in. But if you look at the head section itself, like with my kind of grubby fingernail, but. You can see there's a lot of d subtle, delicate paneling done on here. And that's all throughout the model. Like the engines are really, really nice to look at. Can I zoom in anymore? I might have to zoom out. Oops. No, I'm just too close now. Like I said, it's not a very good camera. The, um,. Really nice casting. There is no no bubbles to speak of on this. It sounds like I need a new tripod too. But 
very few, you know, like there's no casting flaws to the, the, like even the bottom part of the bridge of the uh, head section. See the little cutouts there and there. It's something you won't even, you won't hardly see on the finished model. If I put the two, just hold them together and line them up. Might just see a little bit of, of uh, darkness in, in the crevice. You know, unless you're looking at the magnifying glass, not something you'll see, but it's there. Uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of the model. My only wish is that it was a little bit bigger because, as I mentioned, I really like the Valkyrie. Um, JT Graphics, they do sell a slightly larger model. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm thinking I might... Do I have a birthday coming up? No. It's, might have to wait for Christmas. I think I'll, I'll beg and plead to get the, um, the slightly larger version at Christmas time. But... Yeah, that's my review. Um, it does not come with a stand. You'll have to provide your own, which is not a problem. Most people these days will would like to customize their model with a, a fancy stand. Sorry, I'm just going to reach over. Like the um, the fit on this is really tight. I, I'm coming back to the uh, engines again, but um, I just press fit these pieces in. And again, I say that's probably due to the the being able to do that is largely due to the um, the increased use of computers in designing the masters, so they're perfectly symmetrical. Like if I was really, really crazy enough, I could almost light this thing. But I got enough projects on the go right now, I don't need to try and light this. It would be cool, but I don't think there's any way I could effectively light, light block the, um, the engines. So... I'm going to stop talking about lighting that because it's not going to happen. But I just want to show you guys quickly. It's a really nice model. I heard that it's been discontinued. Hopefully that's not the case because um, it's definitely worth the money. And this model retails for $65. I know it's a small model, but it's worth the $65. Um, Starship Modeler carries it. I think right now they're waiting for more to come in. So if you can get your hands on one, definitely go for it. And that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.